And we are back with my beautiful girlfriend, Amy, and this <laughs> is the second edition of Ask Amy. we've taken a video since I've taken a video I know that he likes to take a lot of videos mainly because he likes to hear himself talk you can edit that out if you want to okay um, <laughs> <laughs> um so I guess just wanted to kind of update everybody on kind of what's been going on from my perspective of things um there's a lot um I think the biggest thing is probably just that a lot of things, I don't want to say everything is trans related, but um, a lot of things that are happening lately are trans related. Um, and I feel like my Facebook feed and um, my emails and everything that I'm seeing now is trans related. Why is that? Well, a lot of it's because I've joined, like, the trans support groups, and um, I'm obviously on the lookout for more information now, since, and there have been a lot of um, individuals in the media that have been transitioning lately, um, so I think that brings a lot of attention to the trans movement. And I think there's been a lot of good things and a lot of bad things that have come out of it. Um, I think that the trans group needs to have more um, more of a say in what's happening, um, especially with legislation that's going on. But I also think that it's hard for regular people who are trans who are trying to make a difference in their community and statewide and... Um, you know, nationally too, to say, you know, these need to be our rights and this needs to happen. Um, so I think that it is good that people like Caitlyn Jenner and Laverne Cox and all these other people are coming out and saying, you know, this is who I am and um, kind of displaying it proudly. So something good that happened when we went to the doctor's appointment because Sean was nice enough to let me go with him and the nurse kind of walked us through how to do the shot and she actually let me do it um I of course asked if I was allowed to and he said yes so um that was a really cool moment um something that I felt like we were really kind of in this together I feel like we've been in this together but this is one more big step, I feel like. Momentous. <laughs> yes, very momentous. <laughs> um, so that was really exciting. I was glad to be there and be a part of that experience with you. I was glad you were there too. Good. Something not so happy is his family. Um, they've been really unsupportive to say the least um, I think that's the hardest part to see um, because you get so excited about all these things and then his family just kind of comes in and makes him feel bad for the things that he's doing the decisions that he's making uh, for himself to make himself feel and look more like himself and their comments are hurtful for him and they're also hurtful for me as his partner to see him going through that and um, struggling with how to keep a balance of having his family in his life but also keeping their words at a distance so that it doesn't hurt him um, I don't know that we've quite mastered that balance yet um, no, we're definitely still trying to figure all of that out, and a good example of that is, you know, after I had my first shot, yeah. uh, you know, it's an exciting thing, and you want to share that with people that you love and that are supportive, and 
and I was really debating whether or not to tell my family that I had started hormones and had a couple of friends say, you know what, just live in the moment, enjoy it for what it is right now, you know, as soon as you tell them, it's, it's going to put a damper on my joy and my excitement and all of mm -hmm. that, so... I still not told them that I've started hormones. Um, it's going to come up soon. Uh, but yeah, that's that's just an example of, you know, like, same thing. Like, when her and I, when we get engaged, same thing. It's like, you just want to shout that from the rooftops. And my family is very not supportive of even our relationship together. So it's a tough balance. <clears throat> that's definitely hurtful. Um... I've reached out to a lot of my own family and friends to kind of get that support that I need to kind of deflect the negative things that they're saying and the hurtful things that they're saying. And I think it's been kind of easy for his family to say those things because uh, a lot of times it's coming in the form of email and I think they're trying to phrase it in a way that will convince him that he's not trans or that he shouldn't go through this and that's completely unrealistic. I would say if you can get support from anybody, do that. Friends, family, people who understand. Um, and even if they're not going through it themselves, some kind of support for yourself. That's been the biggest thing for me. Just kind of venting and letting it go because I can't change their minds to accept and love him for who he is and they're not going to change his mind and convince him to not be trans so kind of take it as it comes so one of the supports that I um I've only had a chance to go to one but it's a, um, a friends and family support group of trans individuals and that was a really cool experience. Um, there were two sets of parents there, and, you know, one set was like, of course, we love you, and they were super supportive, and it was just, it made sense for them. Um, and the other set of parents were a lot more reserved. Um, they're certainly um, more understanding than Sean's family, but um, still kind of went through that grieving process of, you know, you were my daughter, but now you're my son, and what do I do with these pictures from, you know, your high school graduation, or, you know, when you're growing up, and we have all these memories of you as our daughter, but now we're supposed to call you our son. So that was interesting for me to hear it from their point of view, and kind of see that spectrum, um, parents who are really supportive and really understanding and supportive in ways that I can't even imagine having to um, try to navigate that when you're so far removed from any of that kind of thing. You know, I'm, I'm a part of the gay community and so I have friends um, that are trans and it just makes more sense to me, I think, than, you know, straight parents who are older and don't really have that connection with the gay community. I think it was helpful for me to kind of vent to them what was going on with Sean's family and get that reassurance from them, you know, as parents who are going through this, who have been going through this for years with their own kids, and knowing how much they love their kids and I know that Sean's parents love him um they just do it in a way that I don't necessarily agree with um it was helpful and um I'd like to go again um just kind of have to fit it in and go so would you recommend to other people who are in a similar situation and, or as you, would you recommend them trying to find a support group like this? Absolutely. Um, I think that there are other people that go to the friends and family group. I think that was just the people who um, happened to show up that night. 
but I think that it's a wonderful place for you to get support from people who know kind of what you're going through. Um, these were parents and I'm a partner, so it's a little bit different. The letters are just jumbled around, parent, partner, <laughs> but <laughs> they're still people that care about um, the person who is trans and um, have gone through a lot of similar things that they can relate with me and hopefully you. Um, and so, yeah, I would definitely recommend finding some type of support, whether it be a support group for specifically friends and family of trans or even if it's just a friend or family member that's understanding and accepting um, and can kind of, you know, not necessarily navigate you through um, the experience because I don't know that unless somebody's been in it, they can necessarily help navigate through that, but um, just be a support, finding that, that person that you can talk to and get feedback on and know that, you know, you're not the only one going through this. Um, so if you have any specific questions, um, concerns, something that you kind of need help with or just need a listening ear, um, please comment and I will be happy to try to respond to those and I'll try to make more videos <laughs> as things come up. It's been hectic to say the least. Um, buying a house definitely interfered with making videos because <laughs> um, we were busy with painting and all kinds of stuff. Um, awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. If you made it through this whole thing, you're awesome because this is a lengthy video now. <laughs> um, but yeah, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more from us. I'm on her. So she will be making more videos because I love hearing her opinions and, and how her journey is going too. So it's both of our journeys. So, thank you for sharing mm -hmm. again, after much prodding. Yes. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, and we will check in when we check in. Mm -hmm. Alright, thanks for watching. Ask Amy. <laughs> See ya.